Grow the emotional and intellectual intelligence to create your relationships. Design and build your image to represent yourself. Develop your communication skills to interact precisely with your environment. Learn the codes, strategies, and tools to deal with society. What defines a man? What makes a man successful in life, in business, in relationships, in dating, and in achieving goals? In the past year, I've been working with some men who wanted to use method acting techniques in order to improve their manly emotional intelligence and their manly skills. And since the sessions were life-changing for them, so I thought I could share some of the knowledge that can help some men out there to get inspired and improve. It seems like today some men are facing a kind of a crisis that makes him a bit confused. Some men even become frustrated that they developed a misogynistic agenda or a racist agenda, joining racist groups or groups that gather around opportunistic and narcissistic mindsets, believing that this way they could make more out of their lives. And some men just live confused without clear vision or reference. Some didn't have a successful role model that could inspire manhood and adulthood and success. Others were just misinformed and disoriented. Some men even add more confusion by joining trendy workshops that teach men how, how to fake it, how to fake confidence, how to fake power, how to manipulate women, how to manipulate colleagues at work. But even those who did succeed to achieve some goals by faking it would feel emptiness and lack of meaning if they couldn't genuinely live the emotional experience that was meant to be part of the process to that success. Think about a child that is trying to solve a puzzle. What kind of happiness or satisfaction can he or she get out of it if mommy solve it for him or her? This kind of success would be empty and meaningless for the child, though it's been achieved. So it's not only about the achievement, but also about the process and the context and the truth. If a man is attracted to a woman, but he can't bring his manly charm out, and instead he chooses to solve that with a shortcut, he tries to impress her, let's say, with his fancy car, and she accepts to date him, and he may even succeed to marry her. But deep inside him, he knows that he didn't solve the puzzle himself, that she didn't love him for the character, but for the wealthy lifestyle that he has. And that feeling of being worthy for the possessions rather than for what one is, that could create a lifetime misery and frustration and denial, despite all the financial success. And no money would help to solve that, neither hotels, no luxurious vacations, no presents. Only the work on oneself to acquire the relevant awareness and techniques can help. And when I speak about working on oneself, I mean on what we call in the professional acting, working on the character. The character that contains all one's traits. Emotional awareness, intellectual intelligence, the manly systems, communication skills, his codes of conduct, the habit and the techniques that he uses consciously or subconsciously. And of course, his image. The difference between this and familiar psychology is that many psychologists didn't learn how to practice and apply their theoretical knowledge. So they can have a lot of theory and general concepts in hand, and those concepts stay only on the verbal and intellectual level. Unlike in psychodrama and with professional actors who, in addition to studying professionally psychodrama and the mind of the character and the psyche of the character, they must also learn to apply this knowledge on stage and on screen with emotions, with actions, creating life, characters, relationships, conflicts, etc. So conceptual psychology may create confusion and would keep the client in an endless spiral of talking without a solution in the horizon, without defined objectives or measurable results. But if it works for anyone, that's fine. That's great. Stay there. However, if one begins to feel the pain of that Sisyphic spiral, that's the time to stop all wishful thinking mechanisms and get out of denial to achieve what one wishes for. And when one's ready, we may need even to unlearn all misconceptions and misunderstandings that helped creating this pain. In addition to conceptual psychology, many men join courses and workshops that teach them 
only how to work on their appearance in order to achieve one night stand goal. As if their image and their appearance was their essence. And those workshops attract a lot of men because the opportunistic nature keeps scanning always for shortcuts. And they want to believe that in one week they can change something that they created in 20 years, but the image is not the essence. It's just the expression of the character and only by going the whole way and the extra mile, only then one would be able to change fundamentally. Looking for shortcuts and working only on the exterior aspect, memorizing a couple of cliche phrases to impress, that would only get the goal missed. Not only that, but also would create more confusion and even more frustration. Think about a good-looking guy that goes every day to the gym and he works on himself so much that he became so good-looking. But he gets so frustrated and confused why the girl that he likes chooses to go with a different man that he's not so good-looking physically. Didn't work on himself, doesn't go every day to the gym. So it's about the character. I know that some men would prefer in the beginning to go and check what is so-called pick-up artist workshops for quick tips and tricks. And some others have more trust in the endless process of uh, conceptual psychology. But for those who have already experienced all of this, and things got worse for them, or things even didn't change at all, or they just missed what they're looking for, they miss the code, they miss the link that they're looking for. Those have to walk the ultimate fine line that leads to the ultimate goal that includes the genuine emotional experience. And the solution is here, and it's far from the eyes of the pop culture. And I'm making this video also to reach out to those who are looking for this specific kind of knowledge. For me, it's not only about improving the improving my students' character, but also to create a society of gentlemen who maintain a standard that is based on the codes of manhood and on the gentleman's code. That has nothing to do with race or religion or nationality or, or a football club. So, to all gentlemen out there, we are aware, we are awakened, we are responsible, we have our destiny in our own hands, and from there we begin. And when you're ready, contact me and I would be there to help. I hope I could shed some light on this. I'm Shredi Jabari. Thank you so much for watching.